Hey there, everyone. Now, uh, before moving forward and uh, looking into how generic error handling works, uh, here we are going to see how, f first of all, a validation works. So if you have followed my previous lectures, uh, we have used the Zord library, uh, which is the, not this one, uh, this one. Yeah, so we have used Zord library to perform all the validations. So we are going to use this to perform some input validations on signup route. So let's open the terminal first and quit this. npm install Zord. So it will install Zord and I guess Zord also like automatically ships the types for it as well, the TypeScript types. So in the schema, I guess, yeah. Uh, we are going to create a file which is users.ts, we are going to store all the schemas related to user, like update user, create user, and all these things here only. So we will say, first we'll import the Zord. So we'll import. So we will import Z. And now we will create a schema. So const sign up schema. is equal to z dot object and inside the object will pass a object with all the uh, keys which you want to take as a input so let's first go to the postman and see what all you want we want name email and password so uh, we will say name name will be z dot string and that string will be not nullable. Sorry, uh, not, not, not nullable is by default. So if you want to make it nullable, you just have to say uh, nullable. So by default, it's not nullable. And email also will say z dot. I guess this ship uh, with email validator, I guess I'm not sure. I'll have to look into it. Yeah. So we'll say z dot string and we'll say dot email. And for password, we will say z dot string and dot. And we want like minimum length six maybe. So yeah. So this is how uh, you define the schema. And now to, in order to validate the request, what we have to do is we have to go to the index.ts and we have to extend the Prisma client. So uh, I guess the place where we have defined the Prisma client here, here we will say dot extend. And in the extends, we will pass an object, which will say query. We want to extend the query on users. And what you want to extend is create. So we want to like perform certain operations on create. So first will be args. Args is the like request body which you will receive and then we have query. And then we will say args.data is equal to and then we have to like import the schema as well. So I am not sure whether I have exported it. So we will say export and let's like name it in all cap. Uh, sign up schema. So yeah, so index.ts we will say sign up schema dot parse and we will say args dot data. And now we will say return query. We will perform the query with all the arguments. So this is how you perform the validation and extend the Prisma client. Like we have already discussed this in the validation section. Now, in order to handle this error, we have to go to .ts and we have to wrap this sign up into try and catch. So we will say try and catch. In catch, we will receive an error. So let's first move this code inside the try block. And inside the catch, we will say what we want to do is we want to first uh, first, we want to like create a class, separate class for all the validation errors. So in the exceptions, we want to create a file and that file will be 
validation dot ts and in the validation dot ts we will say export class unprocessable entity so it is like the official name for all the validation errors and it will extends http error http exception yeah so this is the class that we created in the previous lectures and then we will say constructor and in the constructor we will receive error which will be of type any and then we will receive message and then we will call the super constructor and the super first we will pass message error code and all these things so here we will like receive the error code as well of type string message will also be of type string and in the super so let's go to the http exception and what all these things message error code status code and error okay so message and then it's error code so in the error code we'll simply pass error code and then it's a status code so for all the like unprocessable entity we have 422 assigned status code and then we will pass errors so yeah this is how it works and i guess error code will be number okay so now in back to the controllers in the auth we will say uh throw so we'll say first next and in the next we will say new unprocessable entity and in the unprocessable entity first we will pass error so errors will be err dot cause dot issues that's how like we get all the errors from the zot library and these all will be nullable so yeah and then after this we will say message so we will say unprocessable entity and then what we are what we are going to do is then we have to pass i guess the error code so in order to pass the error code first we have to define the error code as well so in the error code we will say and maybe we can say that 2001 it's like completely random you can assign whatever you want and back into auth.ts we will say error code dot unprocessable entity so i guess this is what cause dot does not exist on type error so error will be of type any i guess yeah this will fix the issue now let's see if it's working or not hopefully it will work so go to the postman and first of all we need to run the server so we'll go here npm and start okay there are no compilation errors as of now so first we will like uh, remove the name and see if it's working or not it's saying user already exists okay let's try to remove the email as well okay seems like there is an issue okay so the issue is so if you look, look into the controller so first we are doing is find first so as soon as like this line is encountered it automatically throws an exception like the user already exists so what uh, we want to do is in order to like throw all the validation error prior we have to validate it before everything else because if you will see in the prisma dot like where we initialize the prisma index.ts the validation is like only taking place when we, we when we try to create a user so whenever a create method is called on the user then only the validation kicks in so in the controllers the create function is after this line so before like after this error is encountered then we are calling this this create and that's the main reason why we are getting this error so in order to tackle this what you want to do is we want to like perform all the validation checks before anything else so most probably here or somewhere else so let's try to do this so first we will do is what we'll do is we will remove this from here so we don't want to do it on create now go into the odd dot controllers 
and what we will say is we will say sign up schema dot parse and what you want to parse is request dot body so like whenever the controller the code to the controller controller code is reached sorry this statement is executed first so it will perform the validation before anything else now here in order to get all the issues from the Zod library, we will not call this cause. We can directly like call this err dot issues. So now let's try to see if it's working or not. So we have removed email and password and hit send. You can see that now it's working. It says unprocessable entity and we have all these errors here. So the name is undefined. The email is undefined and all. So let's try to give the name and email. So email is this hit send. Now you can see that the error is only on the name and if we get name also, you can see that user already exists and if I modify the email as test1, you can see the user is created successfully. So uh, this is how uh, the validations are done. Now you can see a big downfall here. What is that? We have to like write these try and catch again and again in all the controllers and perform these logics. So we have to call the next again and again when we with throw any, any exception so in order to like deal with this and to like write the re reusable code we will define an error handler so we will look in the next lecture how that's defined because that's a very important part and you will learn some best practices there how the things are done in production so let's catch up there